Welcome to Jaya Maths. Today our topic is in the mathematical logic verify the validity of the argument. This argument is valid or not we have to check here. So what is the argument? What is the argument? Lions are dangerous animals. Okay. Then there are lions. Therefore there are dangerous animals. Okay. This is the statement argument. It is valid or not we have to check. So we want to take let L of X. X is a lion. Next, D of X. X is a dangerous animal. Dangerous animal. Okay. Then, the inference pattern we can write. The inference pattern is what is the inference pattern you can see? So, first lines are dangerous animals. That is for all x, for all x, L of x implies D of x. Why? Because for all x, if lines are dangerous, then L of x implies D of x. For all x, L of x implies D of x. So, that is all lines are dangerous animals. For all x, all, L is the lines, D is the dangerous animals. Okay, na? L of x implies D of x. If L is a line, then D it is a dangerous. X is a line, then it is X is a dangerous animal. For all x, if X is a line, then it is a dangerous animal. Okay, then next one is, there are lines. So, that is nothing but, there exist X. There, there exist x, L of x. Okay, na? next, that implies, therefore, what is the conclusion we have to give? There are dangerous animals. There exist x, D of x. So, from these two premises, we have to show that this one. Okay, na? so, how can we show that? It is a step. It is a derivation. It is a formula. Or a rule. Which formula we are using? So, first one. Any one of the premise you can take from these two. Two premises we are having. So, first step. So, I am taking for all x. L of x implies D of x. So, this is rule P. So, next to remove for all. So, for all means it is universal. Universal specification we want to use. So that in the second step for the first premise, here L of Y implies D of Y. So, the implement for all remove chase. It is rule T for the step 1, first step K. Next, universal specification rule apply chase. Next, another one. There exist X. L of x. What is this third step? Premises also third premise. It is rule P. Okay na. Then to remove there exist x. There exist x and remove chedaniki. Here I am writing L of y for the fourth step. From the third premise. So it is rule T. There exist remove chesta nama. Then k step pidi third step ki. Third step key, remove chayal ante, there exist remove chayal ante, existential specification use chayal. So then, by this and this, P comma P implies Q form. P comma P implies Q form. So, apadem was sundi, Q was sundi. So, in the fifth one, so, MM uses nano idi idi. So, that year one, three, premise number one and premise number three, one comma three premises. So, here you will get D of Y. So, it is rule T. So, A is steps key second one and fourth one. Second one and fourth one. What rule we used? P comma P implies Q. Then we get Q. That rule we used. So, D of Y. P comma P implies Q. That is D of Y you will get. Q you will get. So, then for D of Y. We need there exist x d of x. So that we want to add there exist x. In the next step. From the same premises. 
there exist x d of x it is nothing but from rule t from the fifth step step number 5 there exist we added Ex there exist we add chesam ante existential generalization we used so this is a valid conclusion so from these two premises this there exist x d of x we will get okay na this follows these two premises that means okay this is a solution of this problem if you have any doubt you can comment on this